Um, I know this has been done before, so it's far from a uh, unique idea. I'm looking to load a three quarter rod into a tool holder and then use a lathe tool, have a lathe tool in a wise and use my old bridge ports to do CNC lathe work with a, a, with a CNC mill. So have a CNC mill, put a lathe bit in a vise, and then actually do turning by putting the, the, the part in the spindle of the mill. I have done this a couple of times, uh, like to do um, electrodes and things, and it can work really, really, really well. Uh, can it be done? Or how would I use Fusion to tell my mill it's a lathe? Uh -huh. uh, that's a couple of things to this, but um, I'll give you a couple of, at least a way, hopefully to start. You let me know, Roger, if not. Um, the first thing you want to do is so let's go in to Fusion. Let me just let's just draw something up to to pretend that we have a uh, a part. You know the hardest thing for me when I have ever done this have actually been you you have to f just keep your kind of like your your mind straight because um, you know you are you're over it's easily overthinking everything because you're kind of like thinking about you have your mill and now you're turning it into. To a lathe and how you're going to hold on to the part so let's say that this is the part we want to turn could be a turning part so we kind of like would place it upside down in the mill and then have a turning tool out so sitting down in a vice down here but when it comes to the to the cam portion you actually it, it's it's kind of i don't know it's, it's kind of hard to 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 visualize this but if you go into manufacturing uh your standard manufacturing space you go into your cam the solution is to go over here to mill and turn this into turning or mill turn. What this will let you do, and, and this is gonna change the menu a little bit. I'm not gonna get, I'm gonna try to start you off, Roger, down a good road and not get too uh, complex. But what turning this into mill turning and mill turn will let you do is it would actually let you create um, your 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 turning tool path like as if it was a turning. So. Um, this, you have to set up the setup right. You have to to be careful of what you what you're doing. Um, kind of place your chalk is actually now going to become your spindle. Uh, it's a whole thing. But what it will let you do is it will let you use the turning profiles to um, to actually you know you set up your your tool holder uh, just like as if it was uh, a a turning tool. So this turning tool is sitting in the in the vise. And it will let you, uh, you should probably have a turning tool that's facing the other way, but it will let you profile this. Now, where I want to send you down uh, to kind of help you out is um, if we jump to Fusion and uh, you should do two things. No, you should do two. Th First of all, go to Google and you type in Fusion 360 and type in uh, Forum using mill as a lathe that's the first thing i would ask you to do and that will you will come up with a post uh to, with a post here because there's a couple of things to this um that you you know that you have to think about and this this uh thread here is absolutely uh awesome because it has some some really good points in it including um this guy uh or this one guy lucas and Lucas actually, if you go to YouTube and you search in Lucas is busy, I'm sure he is. <laughs> Lucas is busy. You should follow his channel. Lucas is busy. Um, if you click on his channel and you go to videos, he did an action, exceptional, I'm trying to say, my first attempt at CNC milling turnless parts and stainless steel. That's Lucas. Um, and he goes through, first of all, he has a absolutely uh, wonderful setup that he has done on this machine. Um, I don't know if that's a close-up of it at some point. Uh, where he have kind of set up these parts. He's going to machine. There you see the parts using Fusion 360. Um, but what he has done is here. Um, he has set up this holder where he put different tools in it like this. And, and that will kind of help you taking you through kind of like the process of doing doing this, Roger. Um, you, you might have to go out and look for a post uh, to change a couple of things. Your posts have to support this. It's absolutely not impossible to do. And, and, and I will say that when you do it, 
it's like one of the best feelings I think in the world. Uh, somehow it's just very satisfying as a mill guy to get to do some turning parts. Um, so Roger, check that out. Lucas is busy. is an absolutely awesome. Uh, he's awesome and a, a great friend. Okay. Uh, the next one here.